I've been thinking about games and quantum computing again, since it is so experimental right now. Will we ever see it used in video games in the near future? The one fact to remember is that quantum computing is not magic. Of course, while a quantum computer functions differently from a silicon-based computer, fundamentally it is still a computer that uses the machine language of binary code. The main difference is in how it is programmed, and how it performs the same kinds of calculations, where bits can only represent a 1 or a 0. A qubit in a quantum computer can be both. This enables a quantum computer to use the strangeness of quantum physics to do more work, performing more calculations in parallel. Existing computers do the same thing, by adding more CPU cores, and by using scheduling tricks like hyper-threading. However, this requires a great deal of power, and chip manufacturers are trying very hard to improve their power efficiency. Quantum computers are not affected by that limitation, as the power required is very low. While much of quantum computing is still experimental, companies like D-Wave have already released a first generation of quantum computers for scientific, engineering, medical research, and enterprise work. Basically, it currently isn't intended for the general public, but that will eventually change. In what way? The University of New South Wales in Australia demonstrated a logic gate comprised of two quantum entangled qubits in silicon. Existing quantum computers require exotic materials and near-zero temperatures to function. This breakthrough will make it possible to create quantum computers on silicon wafers thus making them easier to manufacture and potentially less expensive. There will be major innovations in almost every field that uses computers. You would see less expensive quantum computing for engineering and medical research, smaller consumer electronics with a dramatically longer battery life, and there is vast potential for video games. In the near future quantum chips could take over the processing of certain tasks currently performed on GPUs and CPUs. Could you elaborate on what sort of tasks those might be? Certainly, in future game consoles and graphics cards we could see quantum computing chips used to improve performance. Since quantum computers are very good at performing many calculations in parallel, this makes them good for physics simulation and artificial intelligence. Currently, GPUs process graphics while also processing physics simulation, and sometimes this task is given to the CPU. This is especially true of artificial intelligence which is done almost entirely on the CPU by a majority of games. A quantum chip co-processor could take over those calculations making the full resources of the GPU and CPU available for other tasks. While this will not auto-magically make graphics better, there will be a small bump in performance. The biggest leap will be in better physics simulations and smarter in-game artificial intelligence. Tasks that can be performed without impacting the performance of the game in any way. That is the awesome potential of quantum computing and games. Do you know how soon we might see this technology in use? Potentially as soon as 5 years. Many years ago I would have said 10 to 20, but technological innovation in all fields is accelerating. What was science fiction two or three years ago is science fact today, and what was once science fiction twenty years ago is now completely taken for granted. So this is something that is definitely coming? It is inevitable. There is no doubt we'll see this technology soon. The biggest hurdle was getting a qubit-based logic gate to work in common silicon. With that now possible, innovations in quantum computing will accelerate. In less than 10 years we should expect the technology leave the experimental phase and become commonplace. I can't wait to see that day. We can't meet for long, or I'll blow my cover. I understand. Have you found the executive's location yet? No, sir. I have earned their confidence, so it's only a matter of time. Good. Just keep doing what you're doing and the moment you get any information get it to me via our usual channels. There's something else. Apparently they've put a price on your head, and called in some kind of professional to do the job. Do you have a name? Yeah, they call him the social justice warrior. So, it's come to that is it? I'm not surprised. You know this guy, professor? It's girl, actually. And, yes, I've had dealings with her before. She is a very troubled woman. Well, you be careful, I've heard some seriously bad stuff about this assassin. Don't worry Bucky, I know exactly how to handle her.